So let's say I wanted to find the equations of the tangents to the curve r equals 3 plus 2 cosine theta that are parallel to the initial line. So taking a look at the diagram that we've got here, you can see that there will definitely be one here. And there will definitely be one down here as well. So we're going to have a second one. Okay, something like that. Okay. So, this is the point that I'm going to be interested in, just to start off with. And I'm going to draw a right angle triangle. Because that length will be r. That's theta. This length is r sine theta, and this length is r cosine theta. So the coordinates of my point are r cos theta, r sine theta. Okay, so I'm interested in how far away it is from the initial line, so the y coordinate essentially. So y is equal to r sine theta, that's what I'm interested in working with. Now I know that that point is a stationary point, so dy by dx has got to be zero. So dy by dx by the chain rule is dy by d theta times by d theta by dx, which is the same as dy by d theta over dx by d theta. So if dy by dx has to be zero, then that implies that dy by d theta will be zero. Okay. So y is equal to r sine theta. So y would be equal to, if r is this, 3 plus 2 cosine theta times by sine theta. So that is the equation of the curve that I am interested in working with. Now, I'm going to expand that out. So y is equal to 3 sine theta plus 2 sine theta cos theta. Now, to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to spot that 2 sine theta cos theta is sine 2 theta using the double angle formula. So y is equal to 3 sine theta plus sine 2 theta. OK. So I need dy by d theta. So dy by d theta would be equal to 3 cosine theta plus 2 cosine 2 theta. And I now need to put that equal to 0. So 3 cosine theta plus 2 cosine 2 theta is 0. I need to solve that equation. Now I'm going to have to use the double angle formula for cosine 2 theta here. So I will replace cosine 2 theta with 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. So I'm ending up with 4 cosine squared theta plus 3 cosine theta take away 2 equals 0. So let's solve this quadratic equation. So I'm going to pop it into my quadratic solver. 4, 3, minus 2. And we get cosine theta is equal to minus 3 plus root 41 over 8. So I'm just going to press the SD button just to check it's between minus 1 and 1, which it is. So that's fine. All we've got cosine theta is minus 3 take away root 41 over 8 which is minus 1.17. So that is beyond what we can work with. So we can't have that one. So we're only interested in cosine theta. It's minus 3 plus root 41 over 8. OK. So what are the two values of theta that go with that? So inverse cosine of, make sure you're in radians, uh, minus 3 plus root 41 over 8, and we get 1.13 1 
1402965. And the cosine curve, so I'm going to take that away from 2 pi. So 5.1517824. Two. So I'm getting two values of theta because we're getting two angles. There's the one there, and then around here, and then I get that one. So that's going to be the angle 5.15, okay? So I've got my value of theta, so that means I can now work out the corresponding value of r. So... Cosine theta, I can substitute the exact value into that. So 3 plus 2 lots of minus 3 plus root 41 over 8. And we get 9 plus root 41 over 4. And of course you would get exactly the same thing for that one. Because they both come from cosine theta as that. And you're, it would probably be unsurprising that you're getting the symmetry of the graph here, okay, that they are the same distance. Okay, so they're my values of R. So, given I've got my values of R and I've got my values of theta, I can now substitute them in to this. And this will give me my equations of the tangents. So, Y is equal to the value of R is there. So 9 plus root 41 over 4 times by uh, sine of 1.13 etc. So times by sine of um, now I'm wondering whether my calculator is actually going to be able to deal with it but I don't think it's going to look nice I think I'm just going to have to put up with nasty decimals yeah so 3.48499493 and the other one will be y equals 9 plus root 41 over 4 times by sine of 5.15 Etc. So 9 plus root 41 over 4 times sine of 5.15178234. And unsurprisingly, we get minus 3.48499493. Because of the symmetry of the curve. Okay? So these y equals that y equals that, so y equals 3.48 and y equals minus 3.48 to 3 sig fig. These are the equations of the tangents to the curve that are parallel to the initial line.